Hey, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Hacker Associate channel. In this episode, we will discuss about Subdomainizer, a live demo. This is a part two of my video. I am Harshad, founder and CEO of Hacker Associate. Let us get started. So before I start, uh, let me give you some free resources for hacking. So you can simply go to the course section and you can click on this button that is called Offensive Application Security Training. So once you click on this button, enter your detail and after that, okay, you will be able to see this particular video. Please go ahead and you can watch uh, this particular video according to your own pace. Apart from this, I have many channels uh, like LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter and Discord, uh, Medium and many other channels. You can please follow me there okay, for new and new updates. So let's stick to the topic. Let's get started about subdomainizer. So what is subdomainizer? So in short, subdomainizer we are using for finding hidden subdomains and secrets. So subdomainizer is a tool uh, designed to find hidden subdomains and secrets present in the entire web page, GitHub and external JavaScript present in the given URL. And also support this following, you know, cloud platform like Amazon AWS Services, DigitalOcean, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud and many other. So how to use it, how to install it. The first part, okay, like we need to understand is how we can install this particular framework. So simple, you can uh, follow this git clone and these all links and everything, the commands I'm going to add, okay, in the description, you can directly go ahead and you can add accordingly, okay, the, the same process. So first you can do git clone, after that, okay, you can simple uh, navigate, okay, to the directory and you can install using a pip3, the basically the requirements, right? And then if you want a latest update, you can use git pull. So I'm going to show you directly. Uh, this is basically my Terminus application and I'm going to connect it to my VPS. So I'm using a VPS like Linode or uh, DigitalOcean, many, many VPS I'm using it, but whatever I'm using right now is DigitalOcean. So here, okay, if you simple go uh, here, CD, let me just, you know, recon tool, subdomainizer. Let me just check. I am having, yes. So here it is. This is subdomainizer uh, framework, right? And in order to use, you can see this is the requirement.txt, this is the Python file and readme file and license. So in order to use this particular tool for hidden subdomain, what you can do is Python 3 subdomainizer and minus h if it will help you, okay, for other option. So that's how, okay, you can basically start, okay, with subdomainizer. And now what is basically our main objective? Our objective is to find hidden subdomain and secrets present okay in any of the particular uh, repository or url or wherever it is right we need to identify accordingly so how we can do that so what you can do is uh, if you see this option there are many many options available here but the main thing okay you can simply specify python3 subdomainizer.py and i need to check okay for url option so you can see minus u is option available here and you can add okay your url like https and i'm going to add okay facebook.com and let's see what will happen. So you can see it started and uh, shortly okay, you will see a lot of detail and you can see total subdomain 15. So likewise is going to identify the hidden subdomain and if any secrets are available, okay, you can easily identify here, okay, the down the line. So if I just, you know, show you okay from uh, this one, okay, from directly the GitHub repository, let's see that what will happen. Right. So you can see clearly these are the secrets here. These are these I'm talking about. So there's these are AWS access key ID. Okay, likewise. These are the examples. Okay, you can uh, follow it. Right. That's how okay you can use subdomainizer. Uh, this is a short video, and uh, we will discuss some other new interesting concept in my coming video. And again, don't forget this tool. Okay, you can use also for uh, cloud recon. Okay, so I'm using this tool okay for cloud recon as well as uh, my bug, bug bounty, live bug bounty. That's all for this particular uh, video. If you are new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe and that will motivate us to record a video like that. Thank you. Have a great day.